Jurassic World Dominion has now been deep in post-production for several months. And while we haven't gotten any officially released information on the film, such as still images or teaser footage, both Colin Trevorrow and the film's composer, Michael Giacchino, have recently shared a lot of new information on the film via social media. Most interestingly of which, they actually revealed some of the brand new score and a clever title track to go along with it that happens to be named after the series' world-renowned paleontologist, Alan Grant, of all people. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've got an update from Jurassic World Dominion directly from the filmmakers themselves. So just yesterday, Colin revealed this video via his Instagram where he actually shared parts of the new musical score for the movie. He did this by playing it over top of someone playing one of the Souls games and I gotta say, the music is so far sounding very, very dark in atmosphere and tone. In my opinion, it's sounding a lot like some of the OST from Fallen Kingdom, specifically the track This Title Makes Me Jurassic, which played out during the Tyrannosaur attack on the Lockwood Mercenaries at the beginning of the movie. Now, it also reminded me of some of the more striking stuff from the Lost World Jurassic Park's PlayStation soundtrack, which, for those of you who didn't know, Michael Giacchino also made. In fact, some of his earliest work was on both The Lost World and Warpath Jurassic Park back in 1997 and 1999 for the PS1. I think he even did Chaos Island for the PC too. Now what's really cool about this little update from the filmmakers is the fact that they've actually shared legitimate music from the film itself, which gives us a little bit of info that we normally wouldn't get until even after the trailer comes out under normal circumstances. That being said, I don't really know how copyright works works for something like this because the film is nowhere near to coming out yet, but it's still technically out there with this score, released by Colin himself. So... Now, in case you didn't notice by the outlandishly weird name of the last track I mentioned, Michael Giacchino loves to make the titles of his music into little puns in relation to the films that he's working on, such as the opening music for Jurassic World being called Bury the Hatchling, and the Hunter's themes in Fallen Kingdom being named Raiders of the Lost Isla Nublar. Well, Dominion is going to be following up on that tradition in a similar way by reveal of his newest track called Alan for Granted, which is obviously a play on words for Alan Grant's name, but we don't really know if this is supposed to indicate that Dr. Grant is going to be underestimated or taken advantage of in the newest film. And with that being said, it's a good possibility that it could have been named that for some reason by the composer during its conception. Barry the Hatchling is obviously in reference to the Indominus killing its sibling at the beginning of the movie, so Alan for granted? It's gotta mean something, right? At the very least, we can confirm that it is indeed involving Dr. Grant. So yeah, that's pretty cool to see in my opinion as well. Now, with the Jurassic World Dominion in production as a whole, we all know that this film underwent a lot of turbulence that was unlike what had happened in the previous two movies due to the 2020 pandemic. And that seems to have affected how they went about recording the music for the film as well, due to the filmmakers saying that they required a bit of social distancing during these recording sessions. Instead of having loads of people all blowing into horns and flutes as usual, I guess they had to change things up a little on this one. Anyways, as of right now, the music for Jurassic World Dominion is apparently done, and that should mean that most of the other work on the film is wrapping up as well, which hopefully means that we can get some really high quality still images or even little glimpses of footage from the film any day now, with a full-on trailer more than likely due to come out this November or December. Now, when it comes to the music that Colin shared on the film, look, in my opinion, it sounds very cool. And in fact, I was kind of worried that after the mediocre reception of Fallen Kingdom, that they would pull a JP3 and tone down a lot of the atmosphere and darkness of Dominion in response to it. And I've mentioned that several times in the past, but judging by this music, it sounds very Indoraptory, or at the very least darker than what I'd expected. Part of me thinks this could be a pretty serious attack scene from the Giganotosaurus, or possibly even the Pyroraptors doing some damage to human beings in the film. Either way, it's very striking and somewhat like the music of 1960s Psycho in a way, which I absolutely think is pretty killer. 
all in all, it's just interesting to see that even after all of the criticism and attacks that came from people to Fallen Kingdom, which definitely wasn't a perfect movie, a lot of little things kind of prevented it from being as good as it could have been, but I still think, all in all, that movie was not terrible, and it was definitely not one of the worst movies ever made, like some people tried to frame it being. And it's just good to see that the horror that was present in that film, the really dark, Lost World-inspired stuff that was mixed in with gothic, is at least going to be somewhat channeled into this new movie. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can hear the whole track, but things are wrapping up in the film, it sounds pretty cool, it sounds pretty dark and creepy, and I can't wait to see what they bring us. Now with all of that being said, I think I've talked enough. Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them. In the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my parkers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.